Why hello there guys, it is Quirody Afro here on Hampstead Buzz, my gaming slash tech YouTube channel, and I bring you another tutorial video for Cities and Motions 2. Uh, this time we're going to go over on how to make a trolley bus line. Uh, these tutorial videos, I'm going to make them a little bit better. I think I did one already for the Metro, I might update that one, but anyway, uh, I'm, I'm definitely into the game. I've played over 50 hours here, probably, I don't know, I don't know how many hours, I've played a lot of hours of it, so... I kind of know things and like what's bad and what's good. So in these in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at uh, how to build a trolley bus line. And me just giving you some tips of when you should use a trolley bus line, because I found some really interesting. So basically, the uh, sandbox map I use currently on my little series I'm doing on the East City is kind of basically my kind of testing playground. I basically put loads of things into thing. It gets really busy and it's just so hectic. There's so many things I'm doing wrong with it. So this is why I'm bringing like these tutorial videos on a plane map where I actually show you how to do certain routes right. If you guys have any comments about it, tell me. I might be, maybe you do something differently. Just tell me stuff about it. But this is what I think um, should be done. And it's not like it's very bad or anything, but it's just my type of way. And I think this is like the most suitable way. So trolley buses. Now trolley buses, they're interesting. They're not your typical kind of transport. You don't have. Uh, they're mainly kind of a European type of transport mode. You don't see them in the UK. The UK doesn't really specify in a lot of trolley buses. I don't think America either as well. Maybe South America. I don't know. But it's mainly a European thing. Mainly in like say Poland, Germany. Those types of countries definitely invest a lot into trolley buses and trams. So a trolley bus is basically a bus that has is directed through a certain path by wires because it's electrically driven, not petrol or diesel powered. So it means it's kind of restricted like a tram. Doesn't necessarily mean it has to stick to one lane because what I found out is if I can find a road that actually demonstrates it, demonstrates what I want to show you is that um, a road that has uh, the a lane for parking, for instance, if I can actually find what I'm using uh, the map. If you're wondering what I'm using, is the Pittsburgh map that's from Sim Exchange. Uh, I'll put the link down if you want it, and also I'm going to be starting a series on this map, so stay tuned. So if I can find, I don't know if, if the if the guy created um, a road like, but anyway, basically the the road I'm talking about is let's just imagine this road here, the side lanes, the, uh, the side lanes are basically you can't actually put, uh, park on them. I mean, you can you can only park on them. You can't drive on them. So basically, with a trolley bus, is you can put the bus stop or whatever. You can put the um, bus stop here, and the trolley bus would just go into the parked lane where there's space and just use that. And uh, it it won't affect where the wires are. So the wires might be in the middle lane, but it doesn't really matter. Your bus will just still drive into the lane and um, use the uh, stop there. It's it's a bit different with trams because trams will have to stick to a certain path but they can still use a, a bus stop that's near to the side. But we'll talk about trams in, a, in another tutorial video. So, <sighs> let's just delete this. Okay, trolley buses. What I would think trolley buses are best used for, I would say they're kind of used for medium distance travel. You don't want to overcomplicate the route with trolley buses. You don't want to have like, oh, it's going to turn here, then it's going to turn here, then it's going to turn back here, and then go around and turn back here. I would say you need to have your trolley buses a bit like trams. You need to have them on a basically a, a straightforward path. So it goes along one road and then kind of maybe turns back. On my uh, sandbox maps, which you'll kind of see when I show you it around, it um, I basically have a trolley bus that just goes uh, through this whole like a uh, bus lane one way and then comes back the other way so it's basically very straight line there's not a lot of turning for it to do it just basically goes along a straight path also i had one that goes around like a say a suburban area like this i just tried it out it doesn't really work that well it, because it, you kind of build wires around here and if you if you zoom in and like say if i built wires around here it wouldn't really look that suitable as well so it's also about practicality and kind of the aesthetical look you wouldn't really want to put a trolley bus in something like this kind of quiet area trolley buses are mainly in the town centers and stuff like that so right now if i were to build a trolley bus around here obviously i'd be looking more towards uh the city areas in pittsburgh there's quite a lot of suburbia so this would be mainly kind of for buses and stuff like that. But you could involve some trolley buses on these kind of bigger, wider roads. 
But for now, I'm just going to show you that in a in a city that's more compact and when there's like straight line roads, it's the best way to build a trolley bus. So let's um, find a, a road in this like uh, denser part of the the business district of the city, if we want to use proper geographical terms. Uh, we find just a, a nice bit of road. I'm going to use. Um, I think. Um, let's. Okay, okay, this is good. This is good. Let's let's use. Um, let's use like this area here, like somewhere around here, because these have quite nice roads. Oh yeah, this is perfect. And this is something like I have in my uh, sandbox map. The sandbox map has uh, has this type of one-way road system where there's one lane going that way and one lane kind of going this way. So basically, so where do these... Oh, actually, this 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 goes on for quite a bit, actually. Uh, but where does the other bus lane stop? Stop. No, it keeps going this way. Okay. Okay, let's just say it stops around here so we don't have to overcomplicate things. Uh, and let's let's build a depot somewhere around here. Yeah, I think that's fine. So you basically want your depot at either end. You don't want to have your depot in the middle because it kind of overcomplicates things, and it means that when the depot, uh, when the tram finishes its route, it won't get it won't go through the whole route, so you won't get to pick up the maximum amount of passengers that want to travel from one end to the other. They'll have to basically get off because it's terminating at the depot, and then they'll have to walk to another station. So basically, I'm going to have my depot there. Uh, then I'm going to start building some uh, bus stops, the bus or trolley stops, or you could use the um, bus, trolley and tram stops, which come with the modern DLC if you pre-ordered the game. But I don't really actually, I haven't actually found a lot of um, good use for them yet, because I don't, I, there's not really areas that I would really want to um, build a tram, a trolley and a bus route together, because, uh, I don't know. Like probably there is there is probably a better way of um, uh, doing it, but I haven't found out yet. I don't know those those stops are. I use them when I want to have a say a trolley and a bus a bus stop, but I've not actually done one where I have a a, a trolley and a bus and a um, a tram. I think that would be just too hectic, if you know what I mean. Okay, so right now I've kind of uh, you would have. If you were doing this to make more and more profit, I would have more stops around this. But just for the demonstration purposes, I've just done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, around seven, six stops. Uh, you you would put more in between so you can cover more of an area. But as I said, for demonstration purposes, we're just going to keep this a little short. And basically, wires. When you're, because this is not a bus, this is a trolley bus, you have wires. So you would go to the build road section, you would go on to trolley wires. Now, as well with tra uh, tram tracks, they do have single tram wires, and we are going to be basically using single tram wires for this route because this is kind of like a kind of oval and it's going on a one way road. If you were to use uh, double tracks, and just for an example, like say if we were going to use this road, you just kind of fit in how you want to. If you want it going on the middle of the road, if there's less traffic there, or on the outer road, you just put it down and play around with it, basically, if you're doing it on double roads and stuff like that, where you want it coming both ways, you uh, bi-directional. But here, on this route that I have, we're going to have it unidirectional, so we're going to use the single trolley wire, and we're going to going to build from use the bus lane, remember to use the bus lane so you won't have any problems with traffic so I'm going to use here the, uh, the outer lane because we're going to be turning immediately not immediately but we're going to be turning here, right here, now we're going to be turning onto the bus lane here and then just follow it along sometimes I get a little bit annoyed when I'm building like tracks like this because they don't connect here but they should most of the time automatically come up and then you just click once and then it links it to you but it can be a little bit fiddly you can sometimes not do it and then you have to do it again for it so anyway this is a custom map as well so there might be a little bit of uh, hiccups and stuff I can see sometimes when he like here when he does a, a bend it kind of he had to do another part of the road so you have to 
keep building the tram wires a lot. But that's fine. It's a nice custom map. Is I don't I've never seen Pittsburgh in in my life, but I'm guessing it does look pretty much the same how it is in the game. Probably not massively the same, but you know, I give him credit. It does. It's quite a nice map if you look at it. You have a lot of suburbia and then you have a quite nice urban area so it's going to be a great map to do a little series on for my uh, let's play so we just go back around here with the trolley wires and I really do like this introduction of um, uh, the single tram tracks or the single trolley wires because it allows you to do this what I'm doing where you could do a uni, uh, I mean a uni, yeah, a unidirectional route where you don't have like uh, double wires and wasting money on like something that you won't have a you won't have a, a a bus or a tram going back the the same way because it's a one way road. And I don't think in the first game they actually did have one way roads. I think mainly it was most of the time both way roads. I don't know. I, I don't think I might be wrong about that, but still. Uh, if I can now, there we go. So there we go. We've connected up our nice line there. Now we just uh, go onto the transport panel. We go onto the area where it's the trolley bus section, which is the purple icon. We go create new line, and then we just um, add the stops. Always, when you're adding the stops, you start from the depot. It always has to be from the depot. It cannot start from some random stop. But you can start at the depot and then you can pick any stop you want on the route. So say if you want the depot quite far away or you, or you don't want the stop to be right outside the depot, you can have it like somewhere miles off, but I wouldn't recommend that. It should be literally just insty when it comes out of the depot, it should maybe turn a few corners and bam, it's right there for the first stop. And then you just carry this around, around the whole line. Just keep it going. And now come back the other way. This is also another thing, like uh, to kind of counteract when you're looping routes and you want it to come back around the other way. Because I've had there have been problems where people have complained about, oh, uh, uh, like for Metro's example. I'm, I will update my Metro video of how to do loops and stuff. But like people find it hard to make a loop back around and stuff. What I tend to use for Metro's is I tend to use another depot and kind of use that as a buffer point. Which you can use for buses and that etc. But with buses it's much easier because it's a road network you can just reverse it back around. And same again with trolley buses you can just loop it around the roads because the roads are already laid out for you. Well with the Metro you have to make the whole thing um, by yourself. And with water buses it's pretty much self explanatory you just put it to there and then set it back away around. So anyway, there you go. This is the little line we've made for the trolley bus. It's quite simple. It's a unidirectional line. If we were to make some kind of um, uh, a bio-directional route, we would... Uh, I could just quickly show you. Just If you... Oh, let's just go back to the build roads panel and we use uh, some more of this. We could... This is how I would do it. If I was to use the same depot, I would now, uh, from here, use uh, twos and just use a single here to connect this up. There we go. And then use a single to connect that up. And now just uh, carry along the road uh, with the, the double wires as much as you want to go and then just find some nice little casual turning point where the where the where the trolley bus can turn around nicely not too much hassle and then there you go that's that's if you want to do a bi-directional uh, trolley bus route where you want to have both of them come are going one way and this and the other way on the same road but uh, we've made a a, a unidirectional uh, I mean a what am I saying yeah a unidirectional uh, it's just basically a one-way flow and already we have some people waiting so we'll just quickly go on to uh, well we can fix our times or whatever 
they can be really anything. I'll do a video where I go into explanation of timetables, but the kind of thing with timetables I've seen in the games is when it gets busier, you're just gonna just decrease your timetable. It doesn't really matter. In the night, weirdly, there's still more people that want to use your transport system, which is a bit weird, but I'll get to that in maybe another video. So when you're finished, when you're finished with your route and you want to add vehicles, you you click on your depot go here where you buy vehicles and then you just basically pick some vehicle that you really want I'm just going to use the railcad trolley T2 I don't use this one much because it's pretty small and but it's it's good electricity consumption's a lower start of all no actually no the Sternberger Aquinos is good but I'm going to use the rail car buy about 10 of them to serve the route if you want to if you want to know about information about the route you um, go into your line and you actually uh, the subject object info and it actually tells you how many routes you would need average vehicles needed here is 2.5 so that's good I don't need a lot of vehicles but when you amend your timetable that's when you're gonna need more vehicles and it will tell you and it actually even tells you the duration of how long the, the time is to go around the one circuit of the whole route how the length of it the weekly expensive expenses and then the income will go up eventually when you get more people using the route so it's a pretty good system so if we just forward it a bit we can just get a tram like to come out and we can show you the success of our of our uh, little route we've made let's just find it come on get to the start and there we go there is our trolley bus route in action just if you want to turn off the marker you just press the top of visibility and there you go and there's our trolley bus they're kind of, to me, they're kind of between tram and bus, but they they kind of have the kind of uh, viability of a bus, but the, the kind of limitations of a tram. But I, d I don't really use them in my cities that much. I only have two lines in my sandbox map, which I'm testing out stuff. I, I still need to find out, like, where's the best place. But this is so far, like, a good place where, where I found them. If you just do a unidirectional route where you have it going along one way, preferably on a bus lane so there's no traffic, and then just loop it back around and it comes back around to the depot, that's the type of thing I would do for a trolley bus route. And I hope that this kind of like tips and stuff and information about a trolley bus route has really helped you because this is how I would do it like I would maybe use the uh, the bi-directional route thing but I would definitely strongly suggest when making trolley bus routes is definitely use bus lanes for them like trams normally uh, when you're making trams they have the avenues the, the uh, exactly like this they have the avenues so they don't have any traffic they just have to stop for traffic lights when they need when they get to them while trolley buses use the road so to make it easier for them and more profitable for you and so your reputation goes up is use bus lanes when using a trolley because right now see this trolley bus it is going along, it doesn't have to worry about uh, uh, cars getting in its way, even though I have actually seen a bit of bugs where cars would venture into the bus lane, I don't know why that is, that might be some a uh, simple bug or something, but anyway, there you go, that trolley bus is just going to scoot along the bus lane, going to go back round, and I think that is a kind of profitable way of using trolley buses, even though uh, most, cities, most cities do have this kind of one-way system, uh, which I don't like one-way roads. I think they're very annoying. But uh, for trolley buses, they're really good. Uh, I've tried them in little suburbia areas. I don't think that's really that efficient. They're quite costly in these kind of sub in these type of suburbia areas. I would use um, buses. Trolley buses are kind of for this kind of straight long kind of route uh, going down uh, down into the sea, and that that's what I think trolley buses are made for. So, uh, guys, I hope this has been a good little kind of educational slash tutorial video for trolley buses. I hope it's helped you. Uh, I hope it's helped you to know how to like make them, uh, how different ways of making them. Say the one I've showed you here, the unidirectional, and you can use the bi-directional one that I've shown you there. So. I hope that this has helped you a little bit build up some ideas of what you can actually put into your city when you're playing the game. But remember one thing: just keep bus lanes in, uh, uh, in them f uh, to use, f so your trolley buses can use the bus lanes. That is a vital number one tip for trolley buses that I would 
probably do for all my trolley bus routes. In my sandbox map, I didn't use them for one, which kind of... Well, it's a quiet area, so really it doesn't need it. But if you're doing trolley bus routes in a busy urban area, please, please put bus lanes. It will make a hell of a difference. But anyway, this is this has been my tutorial of how to uh, make bu trolley bus lines and just a kind of overview of trolley bus lines, my views on them, my kind of ways of like... Uh, how efficient they are and stuff like that. I preferably wouldn't use them. I would use buses or trams mainly, but they're they're a nice addition to the game. You didn't get much of them in in the first game, but definitely in this game they're kind of good. In these kind of bus lane, it's definitely good that they added the bus lanes. I can't stop saying that, but it is really good that they added bus lanes. I don't think trolley buses would have done so well if they didn't add the bus lanes. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments. Uh, that you want to ask me any feedback or anything I love to hear it in the comment section below or if you want to just chat to me about the game multiplayer or whatever just hit me up in the comments or message me privately on fa um, Facebook or even on YouTube also if you want to buy the game or haven't had the game you can buy it from my game fan shop uh, if you want to support me and like get the game for a cheap price I think it's only like something like 13 pounds on the thing but it's also been on uh, Steam on the, the sale on Steam so try and find it in different places where it is cheap but if you want to support me game fan shop I'll put the link in the descrip uh, description and also for this custom map for Pittsburgh I know I've been rambling on but I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in another video bye bye